Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to a continuation of Matrices Form 3, Lesson 4. This is Lesson 4, Matrices for Form 3s. So please check on Lesson 1, 2, 3, even SPSS1. Those have already been done. That is Student Problem Solving Session. SPSS. I've done once just to try and uh, make you internalize the processes of multiplication. Now, today I want to focus on inverse of a matrix. There is what we call inverse of a matrix. So I'm focusing on how it is gotten not so much on its meaning okay how how do we get it okay how do we get the inverse of a matrix what we call inverse of a matrix now the basis of this is that we shall handle a matrix which is known as square matrix so when we are studying inverse remember this is mathematics eh? you can get inverse or inverses of many types of matrices for secondary level purposes we are studying inverse of a square matrix what does it mean it is order two by two square two by two okay so in your mind know that you are doing inverse of a square matrix a square matrix here means two by two order two by two okay it is in this form okay those who do not get the square matrix what it means it is in this form right? you can see one two and then one two so it's a two by two matrix but let us remind ourselves how we multiplied things yesterday the previous lesson okay so I have matrix A here and I have matrix B, okay? I have matrix A and I have matrix B. And then what do we do? You take row number one, row one, and then here you take column one, okay? That, so quickly, tail, tail, 15 here. Head, head, negative 14 here. Okay? Keep it that. Then we go to now column number 2. Tail, tail, negative 10 here. Head, head, positive 10 here. Keep it. Now, those results are, on the, are in the first row. I have used the first row and handled all the columns I have. Now, I am allowed to go to row number two and do the same here. Okay, so this is head, tail. So, tail, tail, 21 here. Head, head, negative 21 here. Then tail, tail, negative 14 here. Then head, head, 15 here. Analyze this. 15 take away 14 is 1, this is 0, this is 0, this is 1. Okay, so you see, I'm reminding you how to do it, to multiply. Okay, let us come here. I've not started today's lesson, I'm reminding you. So let us look here. What I've just done, I've taken the blue here, and then the black here, which is very important, eh? So I'm trying to show you how to multiply. Now again, what do we do? We take here, this is R1. It will handle C1. So you can see this is head, head. This is tail, tail. Tail, tail 15 is here. Head, head negative 14 is here. I still have another column. So I still apply R1. 
tail tail six here head head negative six there okay then i come now to r2 okay r2 now always when you are using r1 you must exhaust all the columns don't come to r2 r1 against all the columns individually now tail tail negative 35 head head positive 35 then negative 7 and 2 negative 14 and then 5 by 3 15 this is 1 this is 0 this is 0 this is 1 oh nice now that links me to today's lesson inverse okay get it carefully when you multiply two matrices when you multiply two square matrices because we can have a square matrix of order three by three that one you can't do now further further maths okay so when you multiply two matrices in my example a times b and the result you get is in column form one zero zero one okay when the leading diagonal is one and the other diagonal is zero this is called identity matrix number one today's lesson number one you are learning that there's something we also call identity matrix how is it leading diagonal one and the rest is zero okay i can say forward slash diagonal one backslash diagonal zero forward slash diagonal one backslash diagonal zero but mathematically we say this in red is the leading diagonal number one okay so i want us to focus now i want to change the focus a bit yeah here my focus is here now so once we have we have a product of two matrices equal to identity matrix like we had a times b and you get identity matrix so we can say one matrix is the inverse of the other b it can be said to be inverse of a or a can be said to be inverse of b because i've done it in two ways so let me explain there we focus back when we have this product coming out of the two okay coming out of this two i can say now b is inverse of a you get it so i've maintained a i'm talking of b can be said to be inverse of a if i maintain b here <laughs> i can say now a is the inverse of b okay that's what i mean so when you multiply two matrices such that one is the inverse of the other then you will always get identity matrix how do we write inverse we focus down here how do you get inverse you can focus there i think i just want that that's already in focus suppose my matrix a is this do you remember how we had recorded them i had said this is a this is b this is c and this is d 
Suppose your inverse is this. I can I think I can write. I can write uh, so that we get the right stuff. Suppose A is A B C D. If you are given any matrix, a two by two matrix, a square matrix, and you are asked to get its inverse, this is the shortcut. Inverse is written as a to the power negative one. So you see, this is a, and I'm told to get its inverse. So this is inverse of a. Power negative one is read as inverse. So see the way I read. Inverse of a. Okay. So power negative one is not one over. This is not algebra. A to power negative one is one over b this is not algebra this is matrices okay so you can write yourself this is inverse of a mm -hmm. so you can say this is inverse of a how do you get it this is a formula okay this is a formula is a way of getting things tested and proved workable so one over a times d leading diagonal product subtract the other diagonal sometimes we are told rare diagonal this is leading minus rare so this this minus is formula part of formula and then you put your bracket you reverse the position of A and D. You swap. A was here, now goes down. Whatever figure was here has come here. And what was here has gone there. Swap leading diagonal figures. Swap them. Swap them. Leading diagonal figures. And then the rare diagonal, you write the opposite. Opposite. So if there was a 10 here, if initially it was 10, I maintain it, then I write minus 10. What about if it was minus 7? Negative 7. What is the opposite of negative 7? Positive 7. So you take it the opposite. This negative means opposite of what existed. Example. Example here. Can focus more. On this example, I think you can get it there. Yeah, yes, I think it can work there. So suppose I have a three, no, not three. Let me have five. I have a two, a seven, and a three. Therefore, A inverse is one over, it's part of the formula. Then leading diagonal is here, 15. I write it. Take away the rear diagonal, 14 here. Create a bracket. Swap this. This goes up. 5 goes down. Swap them. Then these ones maintain their position, but you take the opposite. Right? Is that right? Take the opposite. So this becomes the inverse. This is now called the inverse. I want just to add one thing where... A D minus C A D minus C B is called determinant. So I can ask you what is the determinant of this matrix? You tell me one. Okay. Determinant is purely A D minus C B. So I can start by asking you, what is the determinant? One mark. You should be able to tell us it is 15 minus 14. Straight. Because determinant is given this, which is made use of in area scale factor. But that one we shall do later. In conclusion, when you are studying inverse, 
please note that we study inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. So you narrow yourself. Eh? Don't bother if there are mistakes you are asked to get an inverse of 3 by 3. So it is 2 by 2. Then what have you learned? When I have a 2 by 2 matrix where leading diagonal is 1 and the rear diagonal is 0, that 2 by 2 matrix is called identity matrix. 3. When two matrices are multiplied and the result is identity matrix, then one of the matrix is the inverse of the other. What you need to do? Go step by step. Try to get a book and multiply matrices and see if you remember the skills used in multiplication. Once you are done with that, you can now try to get the inverse of matrices. In the next lesson, we shall see where inverse is used, the application of inverse in our syllabus. Keep on subscribing, boy, so that you see what is here. It is good stuff. You can't miss it. Even if we open, you will get all the things I'm teaching there to be tested. Till then, keep on subscribing.